See ya. Bye. Fear, an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. Fear is one of the most primal emotions we feel as human beings. Our first sound when we are born is the will of fear. Where am I? Who's grabbing me? Why did you hit me? I had a feeling that tonight would be the best night I can Hello. Hello. I hope you're doing well and you're safe and you're watching this from home. So a few weeks ago we talked about fear and we thought about fear and we were like, why not look into it a bit more? So we went and dug a bit deeper and this is what we found out. As Walter and I were discussing about fear and anxiety, our main sources being the poem of anxiety by WH Oden. Yeah, there's also like Rolo Me and Tim Keller. Tim Keller. They've done quite a number of things in relation to fear and anxiety. From the start it was clear that the people in the modern society yeah, go through yeah. a lot of fear yeah, and, and anxiety, anxiety more than modern. the people who lived back then True. like in the True. 1960s and 70s and 50s yeah. yeah and actually we found out the reason being in the 1950s and 60s it was clear there was a clear distinction between fear and anxiety and not like in the modern day where it's really hard to separate the two yes yes so allow us to share with you what we got to learn yes. and what we plan on doing to mm. conquer our fears and go through anxiety. Yes. To be able to give a clear distinction between fear and anxiety allows us to use this analogy that was used back in the day. So this is an analogy. Let's say you want to cross a busy highway and then you start crossing and then you realize there's a car speeding towards you. you. Look at the distance between yourself and the car and you're like, I can't be able to make it. So you actually put you and then you escape that kind of danger. And that is fear. Now, anxiety, on the other hand, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. after the car sped away and the day goes on and you're out of danger and you start feeling this abiding feeling of hollowness, an abiding mm -hmm. feeling that you're fragile, then this is anxiety. Anxiety is the feeling we feel when our existence ourselves is threatened. Guys, I know we've told you so many things, you know, so many facts and all that. So, yeah, yeah a bit of a story time. Mm -hmm. So, so this time we were in the house, we were just seated and we were just watching telly as usual. Then we came across a YouTube channel called uh, Yes Theory. So these guys are all about seeking discomfort, overcoming their fears and all that. Hey, we saw that video and that mix was so excited. I was, I was, I really was. Yeah. Yeah. We decided uh, to holler up at a fellow YouTuber yeah. and friend and I was like, hey, do you feel like conquering your fears with me? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, we decided to just go take it up and see what we can be able to do. Just a bit of it and so watch this clip. <laughs> <laughs> Just to eat, you're going fast. Why are you walking so fast? 
This is like a bride on a Okay, but have we walked now? No. All the way? Yeah, we count like 10 steps. Okay, 10 steps. 10 good steps. One. I can already feel the. No. Let me see snakes. I can see all the snakes. I can see all the snakes. Wait, wait, how far are we? How far are we? No, it's just like, it's a bit normal. Sweet! I'm so scared. I'm never opening my eyes ever. Thank you for that. I want to thank you for us. Wait, can I cut the ground? Can I need to look at the ground? Okay. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that we had to do this i was scared as i'm actually still scared yeah. i can't wait for us to drive out and i stop seeing these creatures around but it was nice i got to see one yeah. you know yeah. 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 i saw yeah. the end one getting out there wasn't it pole pole yeah Guys, in this journey of seeking discomfort, we are here. We are I'll conquer uh, the fear of speed, of height, and of water. And. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This, is, this, this is nothing. Up, 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 up. High, high, high. Where? Like so high. Uh, kind of fear mm. the healthy kind of fear first of all is constructive and specific mm. and what happens if you have fear in you it uh, activates the autonomic nervous system and then sends you this sudden burst of energy and gives you mental clarity so then you're able to act so in short what happens you realize that uh, something good in your life is being threatened and then you act yeah, to protect something good that is being threatened. That, that's when we can define it as fear. Okay, I know I'm saying it in so many words. <laughs> Let me just give you a story. Yeah. So there's this time we had, um, it was actually in our first first few days of marriage. Yeah, yeah? actually, and I think it was month one. It was month one, oh, yeah. Month Immediately, one. like after the honeymoon, and then mm. in, because we got married in December, it was around Jan there. Yeah. yeah, so we had gone somewhere visiting, and then uh the way you go a, a place and then you're taking photos so which had gone up a fence it was uh like a wooden fence yeah, yeah. so um, she was seated there and i was like just about to take the photo wait oh. can i can i just say if you know me then you know i'm so afraid of heights yes, yes. like i don't even know what i was doing on that no day. it took us quite uh, some time for you to get there just to go take the photo so i was here taking the photo and then i realized some um, some crackling like the wood was uh, making some yeah. noises and then I was like oh no 
There's no way, and she's going down. She's definitely going down. At that point, I can't tell you how. Like I put the camera down, and I went, and I was able to hold her. Yeah, like yeah. that is that was like a super. Yeah, yeah. and up to date, I normally ask Walter like yeah. how. How did you even manage yeah. to do that? Yeah. Because I think on a normal day, normal day, like I don't think because we look at the distance between where I was taking the photo, where you were, yeah. and then you are coming down. Yeah. To so clearly, like that is a clear example of yeah. like the kind of fear mm. I'm trying to talk about, mm. like the constructive kind of fear. Mm. It's for protection. You want to protect something that means something to you. Uh, yeah, so that is fear. Yeah. yeah. Um, anxiety, mm -hmm. I feel like as we've been talking, yeah. it's unlike fear, mm -hmm. it's diffused, it's generalized, mm -hmm. it's undefined. You, It's annoying. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's <laughs> causing it and why right it's there. Yeah. Like, it's ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The way, like you've talked about autonomic nervous system. Yeah, okay, yeah. guys, we're going to mention it as many times as possible yeah, yeah. because we it, just learned about it. Yeah, it took us some time to understand it fully. Yeah. yeah. Okay, not fully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing yeah. if your autonomic nervous system is always on and yeah. you always have um, a physical burst of energy, mm. I mean, I don't think it's good for you. Like, all year round, yeah, it's, yeah, it's on. It's not it's healthy, healthy for your mind, yeah. for your body, mm -hmm. and even your soul. It's not good. Yeah. For example, I'll take uh, Kipchoge's example. Mm -hmm. um, last year, when he made us so proud as Kenyans mm -hmm. uh, during the Ineos Challenge 159, I mean, I'm sure that time, like, he had, you know, he had yeah, sight for like, it. Yes. Like, yeah, his yeah. autonomic nervous system it was, was on. on. Yeah, if he had a physical burst of yeah. energy. Yeah. But I mean, if he has a physical burst of energy all year round. Yeah, that can be stressful. Like, it can be draining. Ah, it can be draining. You're not uh, medical people that we knew nothing about it. Nothing. It's just what you've read. Yeah. So, uh, and then I, I also think, like, have you thought about athletes? Like, mm. have you ever thought um, what happens when they retire? Mm. Yeah? Like, most mm. of the athletes, when they retire, you know, now they, when they're in glory, mm. everyone is looking up to you, but when you retire now, uh, you know, maybe people mm. remember you then, yeah. but most of them, I think, according to what I've seen, yeah. they, feel they, they feel like they're threatened, like the time is over, you know? Mm. Mm. Like, the identity is, is exactly false. so mm. the thing is anxiety uh is like an attack to your identity mm. your sense of self you know mm. nothing that made you be you yeah. is being eaten away slowly by slowly i feel that's when anxiety kicks in yeah, yeah. so um I know we're saying so many things about this thing. We've tried so hard defining it, but we're not here just to define it and discourage you. No, we've come to give you hope, and this is it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we've also come to learn from you exactly. people. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. We, we don't know everything. It's just part of our research yeah. that we thought sharing with you would be great so that we also get to learn from you. In conclusion, let me just give you a few ways in which uh, us guys have dealt with fear and anxiety in the past. So uh, one thing with uh, like this uh, kind of fear, we attack them directly, like you saw in our previous videos what Bates was trying to do. You know, like fear of heights, fear of those uh, small types of fear. Maybe small, maybe big, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, one of the ways we deal with uh, fear and anxiety is find someone to talk to, mm -hmm. um, someone who won't be quick to judge yes. or too quick to give a solution. Mm -hmm. So someone who will just internalize and just listen to what you you're saying, what you're um, going through. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we also feel like uh, it's also reminding yourself, mm -hmm. like. You will get through it. You know, usually like the term, this too shall pass. You know, mm. it's for a short while. So, and whatever you're going through, you can definitely get out of it. Yeah. So always remember that. 
yeah so guys we hope you really enjoyed this video yeah we really yes. enjoyed making it like yeah. we're having so much fun now yeah, yeah. it's true <laughs> yeah. so guys thank you so much for watching see you in our next video from one two yes, yes. <laughs> what a day what a day